This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 865, Should the Customer Success Function Report to the Head of Sales or the CEO? By Mike Smirklow of mikesmirklow.com. And I'm Dan, hope you're having a great weekend and welcome back to the show where I read to you every single day and help you improve your business life. So let's keep this intro nice and short uh, for this Sunday and get right to our post from Mike Smirklow as we optimize your life. Should the Customer Success Function Report to the Head of Sales or the CEO? By Mike Smirklow of mikesmirklow.com. For any recurring revenue business, there are seven key reasons why the customer success function should report directly to the CEO and not the head of sales. Customer success has finally started to become an established function within SaaS companies. As a startup begins to scale and move from the ideation and product creation phase into revenue generation, quickly becomes clear that resources are needed to help manage customer relationships after the initial sale. I've been an advocate of customer success and the importance of both the function and mindset within SaaS recurring revenue companies since dinosaurs roamed the Silicon Valley. As recurring revenue business models have become the standard for technology companies, it has become clear that customer success is critical for sustaining growth, profitability, and customer referenceability. In short, If you don't get customer success right, nothing else matters. As a result of this increased importance, it has been refreshing to see most emerging growth companies building out functions that focus on all aspects of customer success, from onboarding and adoption to support and eventual renewal of the subscription agreement. This function can also take on responsibility for upselling and or cross-selling of additional seats or subscriptions. In short, this is a critical function for any SaaS recurring revenue business. But here's the question I get asked more often than not about this function. Should this function report directly to the CEO? My quick answer, why wouldn't it? The normal response from CEOs I work with goes in one of two directions. Well, revenue's involved, cross-sell, upsell, renewal. So my head of sales is arguing that it should report to her. And I already have so many direct reports, sales, CFO, product management, engineering, HR, marketing, that I can't imagine adding another direct report. My response is pretty simple and direct, before making sure, of course, that I remind everyone that I was once a CEO, so whatever I say must be 100% accurate. What is the one thing that will make or break the success of your business? Hard to answer with anything here except customer success. Here are the seven key reasons why customer success should report to the CEO. One, visibility. It lets you see exactly what is happening with your most important asset besides your employees, your customers. Two, clarity. Having customer success separate from sales gives the organization visibility into what is really happening after a prospect becomes a customer and takes away a lot of the typical finger pointing between sales, product management and engineering, and professional services. Three, metrics. When the customer success function reports directly to the CEO, an organization can develop specific metrics that really determine the health of the customer besides how much money they're spending, i.e. sales. Four, balance of power. In most emerging growth SaaS businesses, the power within the organization typically sits first with product engineering. We need to build something that works and then shifts to sales. We're in trouble if we don't sell something. By having customer success sit outside of either of these functions, a CEO can avoid a lot of the natural power plays that happen, resource gathering, budget disputes, etc., and stay focused on the customer. Five, sales focus. If customer success reports to the sales function, there's too much potential for either the customer getting ignored, I have to make the quarter, or the customer's needs becoming a distraction. We missed our quarter because of these customers. The sales team's job is to sell. Keep it that way. Six. Feedback loop. As a CEO, one of the hardest things to do is to get clarity on what is really happening inside and outside the business. The ultimate is to get insight into what is happening in the magic loop, plan and build, product management and engineering, versus demand and sales, marketing and sales, versus customer experience, customer success. And seven, signaling. By having this function report to the CEO, it tells the world, internal and external, that the organization really does care about the customer. 
it's pretty hard to say the customer is king when the function isn't sitting in the Monday morning executive staff meeting. The advent of the customer success function is refreshing to see for technology companies. And the industry has come a long way from the early days of sell now, beg for forgiveness later mindset. By making the customer success function a direct report to the CEO, the long-term health and well-being of a business is significantly enhanced. And it also takes one more excuse away from those sales executives when they miss the quarter. That fact alone might make it all worthwhile. You just listened to the post titled, Should the Customer Success Function Report to the Head of Sales or the CEO? By Mike Smirklow of MikeSmirklow.com. Inflation is running rampant, supply chains are clogged, and the labor market is tight. What does that mean for margins? You might not know. And if you don't know your numbers, you don't know your business. But not every business is in the dark. Over 33,000 businesses know their numbers because they use NetSuite by Oracle, the number one cloud financial system. NetSuite is the number one cloud financial system to power your growth. With visibility and control of your financials, inventory, HR, planning, budgeting, and more, NetSuite is everything you need to grow, all in one place. With NetSuite, you can automate your processes and close your books in no time while staying well ahead of your competition. In fact, 93% of surveyed businesses increase their visibility and control after upgrading to NetSuite. For the new year, NetSuite has a new financing program for those ready to upgrade at netsuite.com slash startup. Head to netsuite.com slash startup for this special one-of-a-kind financing offer on the number one financial system for growing businesses. netsuite.com slash startup. And let me give a big thank you to Mike, who is the author of Mr. Monkey and Me, a real talk guide to cultivating a mindset to support greatness in entrepreneurs. And I actually narrated an excerpt from that book back in episode 88, so uh, you can check that out if you like. Mike is an experienced entrepreneur, investor, and business leader driven by the desire to turn ideas into reality. Having bought and scaled a small business into a publicly traded company worth nearly a billion dollars in value, he has a deep understanding of the hard work, dedication, and grit that truly powers successful entrepreneurship. Today, as the co-founder and managing director of Next Coast Ventures, Mike's a champion for a new generation of entrepreneurs building disruptive companies in big markets, so really a great author for this show. So come on by his site to check out more of his work. That's mikesmirklow.com, and his last name is spelled S-M-E-R-K-L-O. And as usual, I do have that linked in this episode's description for you. But I think that does it for today. I thank you for being a subscriber to the show, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow, where your optimal life awaits.